Welcome back to Go On Shaw TV. Pascal Boutois, 20 years ago, you co-founded Freeze Freight Festival, um, one of the longest in Winnipeg. How do you explain the success of this festival that could? I guess there was a need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, yeah, exactly, it's like, like in the movie, like we built it and the people came. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, we thought that uh, Winnipeg was a very diverse uh, uh, places with uh, people from many different culture, but there was no film festival that was embracing that. So we thought, let's bring films from all over the world and for kids mm -hmm. and, and see what happened. So the first festival I remember, that was in 96, we had about 800 people. These days, 20 years later, we have reached 7,000, 8,000, and wow. we have become you know, the, the biggest in, uh, in Winnipeg. And you are a film festival for all ages, um, specifically focused on kids. And today is the Real Jobs event, um, inspiring kids to uh, pursue and uh, explore filmmaking. Um, what I also find interesting about this festival is that every year you kind of you pick a, a current topic that is affecting um, people here in Manitoba. And this year, the films um, explore the refugee crisis, right? Yeah, it was very appropriate because many of the films over the years that, that we've shown were about kids in difficult situations and definitely you know the refugee crisis there are many many kids that are affected so we decided I found a film that was really appropriate to make people understand you know what these these kids go through and we showed it for the first time at the opening and it was a fundraiser for two organizations that work with refugees here come house and like francophone and uh, people were very generous and and helped with that and uh, we're gonna show this film it's called Bekas uh, another uh, uh, two times uh, before the end of the festival and we've got two other films that are also related to the uh, um, to the experience of the refugee a German film called Harder and um, a Canadian film uh, called uh, The Roots Remain so these, these are really quite interesting and a little story you were telling me um, prior to this off camera that I think really illustrates the power of filmmaking is um, last year you had students come here see a film and then they actually developed a human rights group at the school. Yes, uh, the impact uh, that this festival have Often we can't really quantify it, but the quality sometimes is, is, is unbelievable. So this school came and uh, they saw a film about Colombian kids. It was a documentary. That was not an easy film to watch. And they were so impressed that they, with their teacher, and they asked their teachers actually to create a human rights group, which is just fantastic. Like they're, they're you know, in co college kids. And uh, they were very moved. And uh, that's one of the beauty of the festival sometimes. Uh, some really strong ideas go through film and in an um, emotional way. Not a manipul manipulative way, but emotional. And, and it's they're done always very ethically. Now, Real Jobs, which is happening, which where we are right now, this is a sort of a newer addition to the festival. Freeze Frame all year round is an organization that holds workshops and, and uh, gets kids involved in filmmaking and media production. Um, but tell us what's going to be happening or what is happening here today. Well, here we are always interested not only to bring stories, different kind of story to Winnipeg, but we want also the kids to tell their own stories. And for this, they have to know a little bit about, about in the medium of filmmaking, and um, especially because these days it's, it's very easy to access, but not, not exactly the kind of things that you see behind us. That's not easy to access. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to connect the kids with, uh, with people from the industry, and over, uh, we've got two days at Freeze Frame that we, we, we reserve for um, real jobs and we try to make it really hand down so the kids, they, they learn a lot doing that and they can ask all the questions they want to the professionals that, that, that are here and you know, some of them may want to work in the industry, some may not, but at least they will learn something about how the messages that they see or the films that they see are constructed. Well, we are going to talk to a few of those industry professionals who are uh, molding the brains here today. Thank you so much, Pascal. Thank you, Jessica.